राजभवन जे अन गवर्नर तमिलसई मैं लाइव द्वारा चुदर्टी enshrined in our indian constitution they are the founding principles to further strengthen the spirit of democratic republic on this auspicious day i salute the makers of indian constitution for gifting the country with one of the best and the most comprehensive constitutions in the world i salute the vision of the luminaries of the constituent assembly i pay my respects to salute the tireless effort of bharat ratna baba saheb dr b r ambedkar as the chairman of the drafting committee republic day is the day to remember the services and sacrifices and take inspiration from their great vision and for laying strong democratic ideals in our country through the constitution we must take pride as the spirit of democracy enshrined in our constitution our heritage and our shared values and culture on this occasion india is pro proudly reclaiming its real history and heritage by respecting the unsung heroes in a truly befitting manner one such example is establishing the statue of netaji subhash chandra bose at the historic india gate and thus replacing the colonial legacy with that of the legacy left by our true patriotic and brave heroes India is moving forward and witnessing transformational changes in many sectors with the true spirit of atmanirbhar bharat as envisioned by our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji it is high time that we all contribute a out bit in shaping our country self reliant in our respective fields the development production and free distribution of our indigenous covid vaccine or a true testimony to our spirit of self reliance the country has administered a record number of 160 plus crore vaccine doses and is marching forward to achieve the 200 crore vaccine doses mark in the months to come india had also supplied its indigenously produced vaccine to more than 150 countries in the world it is time to salute our scientists doctors paramedical staff nurses and other frontline warriors for helping india implement the world's largest vaccine drive in a seamless manner thanks to the efforts of the scientists and the pharmacy specialists india is now called the pharmacy of the world and as the vaccine cap capital of the world india is emerging strong and secure by constantly modernizing and strengthening its defense system with new technologies getting stronger day by day india is successfully facing numerous challenges internally and at the borders we are also on a firm path to emerge atmanirbhar in our major defense requirements owing to the relentless efforts of our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji india is now considered as one of the important global powers the country is enjoying a pride place of its own among the committee of nations we must all acknowledge and contribute for country's efforts to emerge as the self reliant through quality education innovation research development and entrepreneurship india is steadily emerging as the innovation hub with the emerging of number of startup ta startups thanks to startup india initiative there is an all round promotion to startup ecosystem to promote innovation and business at all levels despite the repeated pandemic waves due to new variants and their impact on different sectors india through its sheer power and resilience has bounced back and is witnessing faster economic growth we must ensure that the fruits of development reach all the sections of the people we need to make constant efforts to create equal opportunities and accessible condition with a special focus on the under privileged sections i am glad to share that rajbhavan had also launched series of initiatives reach out the unreached the nutritional intervention to improve the nutritional status of the people belong to the primitive tribal group in selected districts like adilabad badadri kotagudam and nagar kurnool is one such special initiative through a multi pronged approach we are working to improve the livelihood health 
nutrition and employment opportunities for the people belonging to the primitive tribal groups. Similarly, through Atmanirbhar self-employment training programs, we are making constant efforts to economically empower the women. Initiatives like Chancellor Connects Alumni and galvanizing the higher education system in the state with a series of programs to promote the National Education Policy 2020 are likely to have transformative impact in near future. Promoting education, health, nutrition, entrepreneurship and employment opportunities among women are vital for the foster growth of Telangana state and the nation. I am happy that the youngest state of Telangana is making rapid strides in different areas. The Hyderabad is fast emerging as the pharma hub, IT hub, the medical hub and is witnessing the establishment of offices by many global corporate offices. I wish the Telangana state to emerge as the leader in quality higher education and consolidate its position as innovation hub through the constant efforts by promoting innovation ecosystem and take the lead in contributing for realization of the self-reliant India. I am happy that I am happy and I appreciate the bountiful crop production in our state. In the process, Telangana state has emerged as the rice bowl of India in the recent past. I salute the farmers for the toil. Despite the pandemic conditions, they have produced a bumper harvest thus ensuring food security to millions of people. On this auspicious occasion of our country's 73rd Republic Day, I once again appeal to you all to strengthen our democratic ideals by adhering to the core values of justice, liberty, equity, equality and fraternity enshrined in the Indian Constitution as a mark of our real tribute to the architects of Indian Constitution. It is high time that we all rededicate our ourselves to the cause of the creating strong, secure, sustainable, prosperous and self-reliant India. India of the dreams of our great freedom fighters and the makers of our constitution. The pandemic has taught us a lot of lessons. We have to improve the government hospital setup. That is the lesson. And our Honorable Prime Minister has given a medical college for a district and Telangana is going to get eight medical colleges. So improving the infrastructure, medical infrastructure, particularly we are proud of having such institutions like Osmania Medical University and it is our duty to improve the medical uh, infrastructure, the government medical structure, which is the last hope of the uh, common man and be strong and be courageous. That is the lesson taught by the pandemic to the youngsters and a word for the youngsters in this Republic Day. Let the people be your God. Think of them. Work for them. Pray for them. Incessantly, the Lord will show you the way. How I call a Mahatma whose heart bleeds for the poor. Other who is a Duratma. Let us unite our wills in continued prayer for their good. These are the words of the Saint Vivekananda. Do good to the people who are even harming you. Inna seidarai oruttal, avar nana nannayam seidividal are the words of the great Tiruvalvar. Please do good for the people who are all harming you also. So that is the message. And my message, be good. Be good to the people and be good to yourself. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat, Jai Telangana. Thank you, madam, for the inspiring address on this Republic Day. I request you all to rise.
You may all be seated, please. The police contingent commander, inspector of police, Shri Srinivas, leading the contingent comprising of 34 police personnel from the 3rd Battalion, Telangana State Special Police, has now sought the permission from the Honorable Governor for the contingent to march off.